good morning students today we will discuss about next sub topic some aquatic habitats you know in the previous class we will discuss about some the terrestrial habitats you know the terrestrial means the land region and aquatic means water regions the such kinds of organism like both plants and animals also it can survive in water regions because the human being we are not survive in that regions so the aquatic animals has some special organs in our body okay so the body is centrally different okay well, the aquatic uh, animals and plants also it can is to adapt and survive in that water regions okay like uh, some um, such kind of organism it can survive in the deeper regions of the water regions like ocean and sea and the pond regions itself and such kinds of organism it can live in the uh, bed regions of the water surface okay. so these kinds of uh, organism it has some special organs so that is called the gills so what is the main use of gills you know the how will the aquatic organism get oxygen so that oxygen is dissolved in water regions okay so that animals it can survive in water regions you know so that's why that animal getting the oxygen from water region through the gills through the gills okay and in such kinds of organism like and that dolphin and whale do not have any gills but how these kinds of organism respire in oxygen in water so these kinds of organism it has it breathe in air through nostrils or the blow holes are located in upper part of head okay so upper part of the head that is nostril or nostrils or the blow hole that is very important and in the such kinds of organism it can survive in the pond region itself you know like some small insect and uh, some s- s- uh, snake and frogs okay some of the water animals also it can survive in that uh, pond region like that um, wallisneria aegarnia and lotus okay so these are the organism it can uh, survive in that water region so the aquatic plants have the long root in that water surface or in that uh, water regions okay wa? so uh, such organ such plants have the long root it can uh, deposit it on that water region it can deposit it on that water regions okay wa? Uh, some animals also it can survive in that regions okay some animals also it can survive in that regions and another one character that aquatic plants have narrow and the thin thin the ribbon like leaves they can bend in flowing water so that aquatic plants it has that leaves the thin ribbon like structure it can easy to floating on that water regions so this is the special character of aquatic plants and animals also and now we will discuss about the character of organisms in already we will discuss so how will you uh, differentiate between the living and non living things so based on the some character okay well, based on the some character okay well, so what are the character you know first you know how will you uh, find out that this is the living or non living things uh, for e- easy to see for example the human being is a living things okay and soil is a non living things you know how will you say what are the difference between that uh, human being as well as the soils okay so that's why the living organism it has some special character okay what are the character the first one the 
growth first one growth and movement and respiration and reproduction and excretion and feelings okay va? so the, these are that six character it can present in that living things is absent in non-living things okay va? so that for uh, living things example the human beings and animals and the microorganism itself and non-living things examples air soil water humidity temperature so these are the examples of the non-living things okay first now we will discuss about the growth okay wow. so the growth is a uh, very important for all living organism both plants as well as animal itself you know you know like the baby you know when the baby born so that time you look like it's a very small so after two years after five years the baby they will start at the growth after 10 years after 20 years so fully the baby matured that is called the adult okay wow. so in human being only the particular age only they will grow okay even plants itself so the growth is a very important you know what are the identification the growth like the increase the height and weight so that is a growth that is a increase the height at the same time increase the weight also so the growth is a very important for that living things okay and next one movement so movement also is very important you know what is the first of all you know what is that meaning of movement the movement means organism can move from one place to another place that is called that movement why that organism it can move from one place to another place so some of the things is necessary so that's why the organism move from one place to another place but plants cannot move okay well, plants cannot move okay so the movement is absent in plants and present in animals and animals and that respiration so this is the very important for both organism like plants as well as animals so like the exchange of gases you know like we are saying the breathing you know so what is the meaning of breathing you intake the oxygen and give out that carbon dioxide in atmosphere so that is called the breathing you know the respiration means that um, provide the energy you know energy is very important for living organism so where will get the energy from the food okay wa? so food le in the energy okay wa? so the respiration is very important for all living organism the energy okay wa? the energy it can utilizing in our body for the more activities okay wow. the energy is going to cell cell is fresh so because the cell human body is made up of the cell you know not only human body all the living organism is made up of cell okay so the respiration also is very important process of human beings okay and reproduction so the reproduction means the organism give out the egg ones that is called the reproduction okay well. organism give out or uh, organism give out the offspring is called that um, reproduction that is organism lend new or organism develop so that is called that reproduction so the reproduction process is present in both plants as well as animals itself you know so there are the two kinds of reproduction is there one is the sexual reproduction another one is the asexual reproduction okay so the two kinds of reproduction is there one is the sexual reproduction and another one is that asexual reproduction okay next one that excretion the next one what excretion so the excretion means nothing but the waste material the remove from in our body that is called that excretion so that is a unwanted material so that unwanted thing the no need in our body okay well. so that is a waste product so that way what will happen the human bodies as well as the plants also is releasing the waste material from the 
body that is called that excretory organ okay what the excretory system so what are the excretory system in organisms like the skin okay what well, skin also is here example of the excretory system kidney so etc etc so they these are the examples of the excretory system so the excretion means what i think but that the process of the waste material removed from in our body that is called that excretion okay and feelings or stimuli okay well. so it is one of the special character for all living organism you know the feelings when your friend pinch in over the legs so that time how do you feel you feel some pain you know so this character it presents only in that human beings only or only in the living organisms only okay both even the plants itself okay wow well. so that is the feelings is very important character of living things both plants as well as animals okay wow well. so these are the special character for living organisms like growth or movement and reproduction and respiration and excretion as stimuli so these are the examples of the living organism so these are the special character of living organism okay so the non living things so non living things means what like the temperature humidity soil water air okay so these are the non living things so these are the character is everything absent in non living things that non living things cannot grow or cannot move and cannot reproduce and cannot respiration or cannot excretion and cannot feeling such stimuli so all the character is absent in non living things okay but without non living things we cannot survive in all living organism or non living things illama endo or living things um uyir vaala mudiyadu okay it is a very very important points without non living things we can't survive for example the soil water air is a non living things okay well, without soil we can't survive okay without air we can't survive without water we can't survive so all the living organisms is always depending upon that non living things okay all the living organism is always depending upon the non living things okay okay student so that lesson over you prepare well okay thank you